Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nicole and Amori is cooing in the background. Hey Amori, I'm trying to do a video. Amori. Hold on, you wanna see? Oh, now she's crying. Hold on. Okay, she has to be in the video with me. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I actually organize her stuff in our room. We are room sharing. Another name for it is like a bedside nursery, but she does sleep in our room with us. She eventually will transition into her own room once we transform our guest room into her nursery, but for now she's just gonna stay in our room and stay close to us. So let me just say, in the Fields house, we try to keep it pretty simple. I don't like a whole lot of junk, I don't like a whole lot of clutter, and I try to stay as organized as I can. So what you're gonna see in the video is just the essentials that Amori needs. Plus, babies don't really need a whole lot of stuff anyway. So if you are interested in this type of content, then make sure that you like this video so I can know to make more like it. And also make sure that you subscribe so you won't miss out on the videos in the future. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is the overview of her bedside nursery. And I am going to go over what I have like in this cart and also in her bins and just show you how I organize everything. So this is where she sleeps. This is the Halo bassinet and I obviously sleep right here. But one reason why we wanted the Halo bassinet is because our bed, we have a king size bed, but our bed is pretty tall. So all of the other bassinets that I researched didn't get as tall as our bed was. So that obviously wasn't gonna work for us. So I just recommend if you do have a high bed, the Halo bassinet is definitely the way to go. Or just research any bassinet that you want just to make sure that it's the height that you want. So how I normally have the bassinet is not like this. I just kind of put it there just so you guys can kind of see it. But I usually, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, there we go. So it's literally right up against the bed. Like there's like <laughs> barely any space here. But I like my babies being close to me. And especially if they're so, so little and just being born, you can literally lay in your bed and just look right over and your baby is right there. Ew, is that like a spit up spot? Totally is a spit up spot. Okay, I gotta wash this blanket. Okay, anyway, and I just have her blanket here, and I have a burp cloth here just for easy grabbing when I'm feeding her. And then I have this little warmie. It's so cute, you guys. If you don't know about warmies, it is just a stuffed animal, and they have all kinds. They have like sloths and turtles and bears and whatever kind of animal that you can think of we decided to get this little pink elephant but it's called warmies because you can put it in the microwave when you take it out it's all warm and it also smells like lavender so it's very soothing for the baby and it's relaxing she does use it when she's having naps and stuff like that um, and I just kind of put it right up next to her, you know, supervise and everything. But if you don't have one, you really need to get one. I will have the link in the description box for you. I also like this little side pocket here. I mean, you could put whatever you want in it, like diapers or wipes, but I already have a container for that. But I usually just put my phone in here like that because I don't have a nightstand or anything like that. So I have to have somewhere to put my phone and I'll also put my glasses in here too. So this is like a nice little pocket for me. Moving right along, I have my phone charger here because I don't have an outlet close to the bed. So I just have like a really long cord. So that's not really exciting, but that's my phone charger. And then I have her diaper genie, which is close to the bed for easy diaper changes. And then I have her little cart here, but I'm gonna pull this out so I can show you exactly what is in here. So. At the top here, well first of all, I got this cart from Amazon, but they have them pretty much anywhere. You can get them at Target or at Ikea, but I got mine from Amazon. And at the top here, I just have a little diaper caddy, this gray one, that I also got from Amazon. I love Amazon if you don't know. So in this section here, I just have all of her diapers. And then I have her wipes here, and I also have some boogie wipes. And, and then this one, I have her aquaphor, I have some coconut oil, and I have her lotion. 
On the side, I just have nail clippers. I have her brush and her comb, her suction. And over here, I just have some gas drops. And I have some of my medicine just so I don't forget to take it. Here, don't, okay, I swear I don't like eat cereal or anything in the middle of the night. But this bowl and this random decorative spoon, this is for me to heat up her bottle at night or early in the morning. So I just put hot water in here and this spoon is just what I use to actually stir in her formula. I don't like shaking, well we used to shake but we just found that it's just, it just has way too many bubbles and stuff in it. So we just decided to use this little spoon at night but we do have a formula mixer downstairs but we usually keep that downstairs and just have the spoon up here. And all of this is just extra blankets, that's it. And then down here, not much, just burp cloths. And these are actually the cloth diapers that I use as burp cloths. I don't like the normal burp cloths just because I feel like they aren't as absorbent as these. So this is definitely a newborn essential of mine. And then I just have her refill for her diaper genie. So that's the cart. And I'm gonna get to the bins in just a sec because I know you're probably really wanna see all the bins. I know I love looking in bins and containers. This is just her little bin just for her dirty laundry. And this is the Fisher Price rocker. I think it's like the infant to toddler rocker or something like that. I have like three or four seats in this house for her. I have this one, I have the Mamaru, I have the Boppy lounger, and I have the sit me up chair. So this seat, is the one that we keep upstairs and then the other three are downstairs and we can kind of move them around as we please. Okay, so now on to the bins. Aren't they cute? I love them. So the cubby is from Ikea. I'm sure everyone knows that because all of these cubbies are usually from Ikea, but we actually had two of them and they were in the older girls' playroom, but I decluttered their playroom so they don't have as many toys anymore. So we repurposed one of them for Amori and it's just right here in front of this big window. So yep, so that's from Ikea. And then the bins are from, you guessed it, Amazon. And then the little labels as well is from Amazon. So I'll go through the bins just to show you what's in them and how I organize them. Okay, so the clothes, I labeled it clothes just because in this bin, I just have single clothes. So like I have single onesies and I have single pants and just some plain white onesies here. So these aren't her actual outfits. So if she has like a spit up or something, I can just grab a quick onesie out of here and then I can grab one of her pants. These are just the clothes that she wears around the house. So pajamas and I mean it's literally just pajamas. <laughs> so I have all of her sleepers in here and we just use them as pajamas but you know what let's be real she pretty much stays in pajamas like all day <laughs> because we don't three month small clothes I have it labeled like that because these are the three month clothes that she can actually wear and these are her outfit sets. As, as you'll see, I have another bin that's labeled three month large clothes, but I'll get to that in just a second. But these are the outfits that she can actually fit and I'll just pull out one stack here. So, these are her outfits and as you can see, I have them so the pants are on top of the shirt. So if she needs an outfit or something, I can just pull that right off top. So pants, shirt, pants, shirt, and it just kind of keeps going. And this is actually easy for my two older girls because they can just come and grab an outfit for her. If I'm like, hey, can you go get an actual outfit? Then they know to grab the pants and the shirt that's right underneath it. And also a tip, if you are organizing like this, once she wears the outfit, my hair on there. Once she wears the outfit, what you'll do is once it's you know washed and clean, you will then put the outfit on the bottom of the stack, just so you know that she's already worn that recently, and you can kind of go through her all of her clothes just to make sure that she does get use out of all of them. So that's how we do that. So we have large three-month clothes. 
And then this is the same as the other bin, but these are just the three month clothes that she can't quite fit yet. She can fit them, but they're just a little long or they're just a little bit too big. So I just have them ready to go when she can fit these outfits. So I always try to have the next size up for her in one of these bins. And right now, these large three month clothes are her next size. This is three month sleepers. And these sleepers are also gonna be used as pajamas. But these, I label them three month sleepers because again, these aren't the ones that she can fit just yet. These are just her next sleepers that she will be able to fit. But I just like to have them ready to go for her when she is ready. Next is, we have bows, hats, and socks. And I actually need to change this label because we don't even have the hats in here. It's literally just bows and socks, which I know these don't go together, but <laughs> they just have to for now. So I have some bows here, and ugh, Amori just does not like bows. I got these bows off of, off of Amazon. I got these off of Amazon, and they are so cute. She's only worn them a couple of times. As you can see, most of them are still in their little individual wrapping, but she is just not a fan of bows, which makes me really sad. Every time I put a bow on her, she just tenses up. Um, in the back here, I just have some of her bibs that we use. We don't really use bibs a whole lot, but I do have some on hand, and she's starting to drool a lot more, so we'll probably be getting these out soon. And then we just have, obviously, some socks that she rarely wears. And this is actually a newborn regret because I bought, like, socks, I got mittens, I got hats, and we never even worn any of them. Let me know if you guys want um, a newborn video for must-haves and regrets because I have some good ones. Next is bath supplies. This is just her bath supplies. So we have her bath towels, we have washcloths, and we have her two uh, shampoo and washes that we use. And if you haven't seen her newborn hair wash routine, then make sure you click the link in the description or there might be a card at the top, but you can definitely head over there and watch that when you're done with this video. But yep, so this is her bath supplies. And then I just have a little ducky that monitors her bath water. Okay, you guys, miscellaneous junk drawer. Look at this. So this is literally her junk bin, and this is the stuff that I was telling you we don't really use every single day, so I just kind of throw it in here. We have desitin, we have some eucerin ointment that we got from the hospital, we have more gas drops, we have um, the saline, we have the saline drops, um, I do have the nose Frida in here. We have some more butt paste stuff. And we have, we have pacifiers. And I even have these sample formulas from the hospital. I have vitamin D drops. I have gripe water. I even have like some coupons in here that I probably should use. But this is just the stuff it's like an organized mess, you know? This is just the stuff that we use, but we just don't use it every single day. But like the pacifiers, honestly, we don't use those. What is that? Why is hydrogen peroxide in here? That does not go in there. Yeah, it's an organized mess, but that's okay because we don't use it every single day. But when we do need it, we know. It's in the miscellaneous box, yay! All right, that is the video. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. Make sure you like and also subscribe. And if you have any questions about any of the items that you saw or any comments or anything like that, then make sure that you leave them down below. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.